Welcome back to the VSC channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to activate the Samsung One UI Secret Gallery Labs and also try to guide you to the settings that make sense because there are a lot of settings inside that are just for very old versions of One UI, like 345, and some are for One UI 6 but they don't work or they don't make any sense, at least for me. First thing to know, this isn't new. This has been here since probably three years already. So first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to activate it. And then I'm also gonna show you which things make sense, right? For example, uh, bringing down the context menu here, from here that I have right now, uh, that can allow easier usage with one hand, right? And etc. So first things first, guys, go inside the settings. Of the gallery so settings just go down to about gallery once you're here the first thing always to be done is make sure you are using the latest version all right start clicking the version here boom gallery labs is enabled so now guys see gallery is there so we start with one i six x and usually this thing here is disabled okay and what does this mean guys every time by the way you turn on and off something you need to restart the gallery ideally when you're in uh, the gallery and you're holding the phone with one hand. Let me show you, I have big hands, and but this is a big phone. You can try to delete the pictures and that will be fine, but if you want to access the context menu, you just need to train your finger, your thumb, quite nice, because it's really far away. If you ever want to access this option, make sure, right, look, you train your finger, your thumb here, good. Or, of course, the other option is to just bring this context menu, the hamburger menu down. How that's done, again, go inside the settings, all right. After Gallery Labs is enabled, guys, click on more options in the viewer bottom. Again, we need to restart it, then reopen it, and right now, guys, let me tell you, every time I'm here, boom, I'm gonna get this nice context menu here. And this is very easy because right now I can just click here, and try to check some things and the details copy edit set as a wallpaper right and the delete button is also here so you're not losing on anything another option guys that i'm using right scroll down a bit you see usually you'll have information about the photo very basic information about the photo and the location right now guys i have also the option to check the embedded information that's the exif okay and you can by the way see here this is also an option to just get this picture. When you get this picture like this, it's gonna save also here in the gallery. Just pay attention that using this clever. What do you get here? You get the color space, you get um, some digitized time, you get also the owner brand. Like usually this is gonna be the exit information. I'm not sure if you ever gonna need this, but in case you do so, how do you, you enable this? Again, go inside the gallery lab and scroll down past all the one UI options. So one UI six options here, five, like I told you, three here, here two some very old and then here guys you're gonna get show exit in details all right so you can just switch this on and then you're gonna get this additional information now guys there are some settings for the video player that are not so interesting what was also interesting for me was this option here timeline in album pictures in album view or cluster by date because right now let me just try to bring you back something that is stuck out of the box to get all your pictures here and at some point you just forget which picture is taken on which day all right but if you want to change this guys go again inside the gallery lab scroll down again past all the one year options and then guys you should be able to click the option here this is the timeline in album again very annoying i know but we need to restart the application now guys you're gonna get today yesterday you're gonna get date and you're gonna get also some locations and this by the way can be quite nice all right this can be quite nice because then guys at the end of the day you get this clustered view right and you know the location and you know the date there are some other things that i tested guys so that you don't have to do For example the remote gallery when you switch the remote gallery right you're supposed to just be able to access these photos via another device so go here on the settings click start remote album this will gonna get the ip address and a port but this doesn't work so that's not so interesting so that's why i don't really recommend you testing this out this doesn't do anything tag in search version 2 and also return to viewer while exiting this also these two seem to not be doing anything for me all right so if you want to just give them a try you can do so by the way there are other options image viewer android image decoder again nothing really changing here for me 
you have the option to back up and restore the album database to fix dating time guys and also clear personal information but don't do this because you might end up with losing a lot of these things that are already on your phone right so this is the gallery labs again this is nothing new but since i've seen some people discussing this i wanted to give you a bit more of the in-depth information and those are the best settings for the s24 ultra and this here is a very tiny and small and dicey all right thank you so much for watching guys stay safe vst over and bye